Once upon a time, in a beautiful kingdom, there lived a young king named Ashaka. Ashaka had three ministers who always praised their honesty and loyalty. Ashaka wanted to test the loyalty and intelligence of his ministers. So Ashaka sent for a wise man who gave a suggestion to Ashaka. According to the suggestion of the wise man, Ashaka gave his ministers a simple task to test their honesty and loyalty. Ashaka asked them to take a bag each and go to the forest to fill it with foods. The first minister named Harish, who was a very faithful and hardworking person, he thought that the king deserved the best fruits. So Harish searched for the ripest and juiciest fruits he could find with hard work, and he found the best fruits. Harish filled his bag with those good fruits. The second minister named Alex, who was lazy and dishonest. Alex thought that the king was too busy to check what he had collected. So Alex picked up whatever fruits he found, without thinking about their quality. Alex filled his bag with a mixture of good and rotten fruits. The third minister named Paul, who always thought himself very clever. So Paul thought that the king would only look at the size of the bag, not its content. So Paul stuffed his bag with dried leaves and dust. The three ministers, Harish, Alex, and Paul, returned to the court with their bags. They thought that they had completed the task. The king, Ashaka, without even looking at their bags, ordered them to be sent three separate jails for three months. Ashaka ordered that they would not be given any food and they could only eat what they had collected in their bags. The first minister, Harish, survived the three months in the jail by eating the delicious fruits which he had collected. He was grateful for his honesty and diligence. The second minister, Alex, survived for some time in the jail by eating the good fruits in his bag. But after some time, he had to eat the rotten fruits, and thus Alex became ill by eating those rotten fruits. Later, Alex regretted for his lyness and dishonesty. The third minister, namely Paul, who had only dried leaves and dust in his bag, died in the jail by starving, as he had nothing to eat in his bag. Thus, Paul came to understand his own foolishness and faced the consequences of his cunningness. Dear viewers, if we see in our lives, we will find that the story of the king and the three ministers teaches us the important law of karma that we have to face, the consequences of our own actions. The first minister was honest and diligent. He collected the best fruits he could find thinking that the king deserved the best. Harish did not try to cheat or take any shortcuts, and in the end, he was rewarded for his honesty by having enough food to survive in the jail. The second minister was lazy and careless. He collected whatever fruits he came across without checking their quality. He thought that the king would not notice or care about what he had done. So Alex was punished for his negligence by having to eat rotten fruits and getting sick. The third minister was cunning, who filled his bag with dried leaves and dust, thinking that he could fool the king by making his bag. Looking big, he did not care about the king or his task. And at the end, Paul was punished for his deception by having nothing to eat and starving to death. This story teaches us that we cannot escape from the results of our own deeds. If we do good, we will receive good. If we do bad, we will suffer bad. This is the law of karma which governs everyone's life. Therefore, we should do only good deeds and perform our actions diligently and with dedication because we are what we saw in the garden of life. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe my channel.